Good morning. Uh, again, my name is Joachim Doll. I'm with the OECD in Paris, and uh, I'd like to talk about our data that's used in environment for teaching and learning. Um, very quickly, uh, just in case of the history of the OECD, uh, the OECD encompasses 30 countries at the moment. Uh, we're heavily engaged with uh, currently 11 other countries, five for membership and five for enhanced engagement. Um, uh, the other ones seen is Chile, Estonia, Slovenia, Russian Federation, and Israel. Uh, those are actually working uh, to become members of the OECD, and the other ones are looking for um, closer cooperation with the OECD. Uh, this also means that we have data on those countries available from the OECD on a regular basis. Uh, <clears throat> for example, Brazil and, and Israel, we have data massively available in the EMEA database that you may know. Um, otherwise, it would see it on an database. basis. Um, the OECD in general were put in place after the, the Second World War to monitor the Marshall Plan limitation in Europe and has always been collecting data on economic policies, economic uh, um, whereabout of the country. And we continue doing this since the 1960s. Uh, we're spanning an entire range of uh, topics, uh, just like in a government structure, we have a directorate that deals with the same sort of uh, issues. So if there's a ministry department for environment, for education, for uh, labor issues, employment, we have a directorate that does the same similar stuff. And we work with countries, other countries together on a committee level to look at research we do for them. Um, we maintain the publishing program um, with 25 publications each year and some 85 databases that's updated annually, monthly, or quarterly. <clears throat> uh, tools you'll see uh, in environment studies, um, there are a few samples here highlighted. Uh, all those um, are um, environments you come across probably in your, in your uh, daily works, uh, academic settings. And uh, some of them actually may. Uh, Web 2.0 tools, but uh, um, they're all helpful for academic settings to go through it. Uh, the most used one is called the Aussie Factbook, and they come to various versions. Uh, the edition, the print edition, is available for sale. It's a full PDF file. Online, it's free available. Um, we also have available on USB key, so you can actually buy the USB key and, and use the database uh, on, your, in, in, on your laptops. There's online quiz available. I'm not sure if you're live here. This, the, the slide will go live on the website afterwards, but the, all the links are actually current and you can go through to the database itself. Uh, an online quiz in activity is important, and uh, you'll see how to sort of run your own little do I know about this, your see countries. Uh, there's also a web version online on Source OCD, our online portal. Um, and again, uh, it's an enhanced environment where you just do interactively online, go through and pick your, your indicator and uh, in good I mean, charts as well. <clears throat> uh, the Factbook data from 2007 was also used for our experiment to uh, in experiment with um, inactivity in Web 2 environments. Uh, we gave the data to Swivel. Uh, it's still available on Swivel, and you can sort of play your own charting analysis tools as well as uh, Many Eyes and RPM. Um, we have only updated on uh, Many Eyes 2008 databases. Uh, for the new, new publication, uh, but we're no longer supporting the site. So data is there, and you can be using it. Uh, you can make comments on it, you can use data with other databases together. Um, but uh, those were sort of experiments we did in last year, um, which um, we, sort of, we just gave data to the providers, and they posted it and left it much on the site. Uh, we have experienced since then that uh, it may have been too much for uh, users uh, at that level to comprehend, to work with, um, and without those methods behind it, um, but it's still available and you can make use of it. Uh, the fact book was also used in our own fact blog. Um, we put data on, on the variables uh, on the uh, fact blog, and uh, we sort of expected to users come back, uh, play with it, make comments on it, and it does work and doesn't work. Um, again, experience there is the results of it. Um, we, uh, we're looking into making smaller parts available, just one indicator, and explaining more and make a story behind it to end the education activity. Uh, we also use the fact book data um, on Gapminder to visualize the data too. Uh, so here you can actually go online and sort of run time series, how the, 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 um, the countries change, how the indicators change, the values um, on the chart here. Um, the bigger project for us is dot, dot stat. Uh, we currently engage in a, in a rather large project of making our databases, our data available to a broader audience and more digestible. Um, 
each director within, within the OECD is maintains one databases and they have their own set of standards they're applying to. And this project sort of uh, looks at all of it, what we have available, and try to um, make it in one platform and easily be used to reuse as well. Uh, there are three parts to DotStat, uh, or the Statistics Project. The statistics uh, is the overall environment uh, that you'll see later on as well, uh, where you have one entry point to all databases from the OECD. Um, it even allows you to compare across databases, uh, something you couldn't do before at, at now. If you're using the database at the moment, you see it's all beyond 2020. So you channel down to one database, and then you're in that one database and work with it. Here, dots that allows you to actually look at indication data, look at uh, MEI data, look at um, employment data, and just combine them in one query as well. Uh, you can do your own sections, as it's usually commonplace. Um, you can um, change the layout, the table formatting, uh, transposing. Um, what's also new in this one, you have immediate access to metadata, so the method is right behind it. It is forced on you. You have to sort of click it away to not look at it, uh, but it's fully integrated. And we're also working on the visualization tools. Right, right now we have um, bar charts, pie charts, uh, as a flash model built in, and we're expanding that one to also look at uh, mapping tools. That's forthcoming. The .stat environment uh, just went live from beta phase to production phase uh, at the uh, beginning of November. Yes. Um, so uh, there's still work being done in the background, and there's will change. But the interface as it is will pretty much remain the way you see it right now. The second set of dots that is also core data. Uh, that is what you currently see, uh, what we call branded views. It's a set of tables, whatever tables, and they are sets that just looks at education, just looks at national accounts. Uh, again, what we have currently available in Beyond 20 format. Um, what core data does, it sort of gives you, a, again, a tunnel view into dots that just with one database. Um, facts and figures is a service we are working on at the moment uh, to give, uh, to do a story behind data. Use a simple indicator, uh, look for a story in it, and package it to take away very easily. Uh, so you have uh, an MEI uh, unemployment rate that, is, that the data itself provides a story for it. And we sort of give the story as well with it. Uh, it could be multimedia enhanced, it could be video uh, with it, uh, my podcast. Uh, it could be just a, a chart, it could be um, a mapping tool, all that. But it will be available online. and and also can take away the, the most importance. We try to reach, of course, wider audiences this way. Uh, DotSet is currently live on Source OECD, and um, because we just went from beta to production, you have to have access to look at the full data set. Uh, so subscribers to MIMAS will be easy to do that. Um, again, you see on the left side here, uh, we give you access to all databases in one view. So you just drill down on the left side, look at the database you want in the theme, and then on the right side, you see the table coming up uh, we're looking at. Um, this is the Matic view, so you have sort of, this is a database on, uh, I don't know if you see, the reference series on GDP mainly. Uh, but you can easily change uh, the top here, the country, the frequency, and again, just with a very click, go back here on the left side and go to a completely different database. You can also save this as one part of your merge query and go to another database and sort of save that view also as a query and combine those two. Uh, Query to the tables in one database. Take away. Metadata, if you, if you open up a table, you automatically get the window up coming here for metadata, so we can drill further. It's actually not too descriptive. Uh, it can be also uh, printed out and, uh, or moved away and, and clicked away as well. Uh, we also have kind of profiles. If you just look at one country, there's a data set available that's from the economic surveys um, that just gives you all the main databases, the main indicators from by, by country and that's by country profile here. Um, a new tool we experiment with is Spotlight. Uh, on our main website, OSD.org, you have a statistics page that gives you .stat as an extract, as a subset of the full databases available. And on there, we are currently playing with or experimenting with um, a blog uh, that just looks at topical data with a story behind it, and um, we call it Spotlight. So the, the main link you see on the top gets you the statistics page but the link below gives you just this particular page. Again, this actually goes on and on at the bottom, but uh, each section has uh, just one uh, series or indicator story behind it and gives you a lot of to count back uh, and compare notes as well.